Hi, my name is Birgit and I wanted to share with you my self-practice. So I used recording myself as a way to be accountable while I was preparing myself for surgery. Um, I was waiting for that at the time. My thoughts are that it is never too late to prepare yourself, even if perhaps I would not get strong in time for surgery. So if my stomach muscles would still be weak and my arms still be weak, I could feel more comfortable in my body. Yoga helps my circulation and therefore also my immune system. And the practice also helps calm the nervous system, which is really important during this high stress time while, while I was waiting for surgery. It's not so important to do any kind of advanced yoga if what I'm doing seems advanced to you. Don't be at all put off because I think it's really important to listen to your body. And also I highly recommend that you try and seek out therapeutic yoga if you're feeling weak or sick or if you're just somehow not quite feeling up to it. Don't go for the super dynamic pretzel shape yoga. I think I should copyright that name. Pretzel shape yoga. Uh, yes, that is not the goal. The goal was for me and in case you're preparing for any kind of surgery or you're recovering in any form from anything, the goal really should just be supporting your body system. So I'll stop talking now. The video is not really entertaining. I can't imagine why you would watch all of it, all of it, but um, maybe it might just give you a little nudge to go stand on the floor and, I don't know, just stand. Maybe do a sun salutation if you know how. Maybe just lie on your back and pull your knees towards your chest and breathe. Well, this shouldn't be a yoga lesson. So off you go. Find somebody on the internet who's going to give you a free and wonderful yin yoga lesson, maybe a therapeutic yoga lesson, maybe you want something dynamic, then you probably already know how to find it. Thank you for checking in and please subscribe because I would like to share with you some of my journey towards my surgery and also the recovery. And I haven't said at all what my surgery is for yet. Oh my gosh. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe any big surgery that one might have would be very supported by a little bit of yoga practice as regular as possible, but also just even once a week is better than nothing. So yeah, that was me. And I have a couple of videos where I'm rambling into the camera and I'm talking more about what's up with me, what was wrong with me, how it turned out in the end, which was pretty well better than I expected it to. Partly I am sharing this because I think it is helpful to hear what other people are doing to get ready for surgery and it's not really a glamorous process, it's a very stressful time and it has helped me to find people on YouTube in particular who've gone through the same operation that I had and it really helped me to see that they were like how they were approaching it before the surgery but also particularly how they felt afterwards and it gave me a lot of encouragement because surgery can be a really really scary thing for me it was very frightening and yoga helped me to calm before surgery and youtube really helped me to know that after surgery i would probably be okay so i hope you too will be okay okay see you again another time when I've washed my hair and I can actually speak to the camera. And here's my practice. Nothing glamorous, just me on a yoga mat, doing what I can.
ですね。